Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, this next song is one of our hometown favorites, and I'd love to dedicate it to my mom. Hey, Bonehead, get off the stage. Sound check ended over an hour ago. Fooled you, didn't I? I'm Julius. Julius Caesar. I know what you're thinking. You're out there saying, no way. Can't be. Well, it's true. My parents, may God rest their souls, were archaeologists. Big Roman history buffs. And that's the name they gave me. Julius Caesar Magruder. Look, if you want to make it big in the music business, which you may rest assured I will do, you got to have the name. Even so, it was no picnic being a kid named after a dead emperor. But that's another story. Now, how did a guy like me, talented but unknown, find himself pounding on the doorway of megastardom? I owe it all to her. Venus, the Roman goddess of love. But let's start back at the beginning. When I was just another struggling young rocker. This is the crib, the palace, so to speak. This is my band, Hail Caesar. So named for situations that arise whenever he gets loose. California University. What do they want? I don't know. Must be my grades. I didn't know you went to college. Huh. We regret to inform you that you no longer meet our eligibility requirements. I don't? Four Fs are incomplete. Very impressive, Julius. Oh, man. Okay, you know what this means, don't you? From now on, total focus on the music. Okay? Can we make a pact here? Sure. Huh? Can we join hands? Sure, baby. Julius, let's go inside. No, this is the defining moment, OK? And let's all repeat. I realize now. I realize now. All I have is my music. All, all I, I have, have is, is my music. music. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. Nothing to fall back on. Nothing, Nothing to, to fall, fall back, back on. on. Nothing except aspirin and a rich daddy. Buffer. I told you her name is Buffer. Buffer, Aspen, whatever. She still gives me a headache. Buffer, I'm, I'm supposed to pick her up an hour ago. She's going to kill me. Hey, what about the band? What about your defining moment? We need to practice. We suck. We don't suck. We're good. Right, Vlad? What is suck? I have a hunger now. I'll go make a pierogies, OK? Annie, look, it's all rock and roll, OK? We'll deal with it tomorrow. We'll practice tomorrow. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Got him really late. Look at this headline. 
World Peace Summit scheduled. Ha! What a crook! It's all just a plot to drive honest arms manufacturers like me out of business. Sir, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about on the World Peace Front. But if I could call your attention to a problem at the plant... Why do you keep bugging me about all these little details, Larry? What the hell am I paying you for? <clears throat> Mr. Bidwell, the environmentalists are picketing the plant. So what? You're scared of a bunch of sniveling tree huggers? Turn the fire hoses on them! <laughs> I don't think that would be good publicity for us right now, sir. Remember Big Pink. Big Pink. Nothing must jeopardize Big Pink. Nothing. You understand me? Oh, God. Not him. Big what? Just what I need. Buffer's numbnuts boyfriend. I swear she's seen him just to piss me off. God, I hope she's not sleeping with him. Hey, Mr. Bidwell. I can't believe it. Not even a scratch. I'm really sorry about your car, sir. I need a drink. Please send me the bill. Uh, hi there. Is Buffer uh... Not bad, and you? Excuse me, you're late. You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm sorry, we were practicing. We're really sounding good. Yeah, let's just get out of here. to ride on that thing? I thought you liked it. Hello. It gets bugs in my teeth. Let's just take Daddy's car. Cool.
How about your bummer, Mr. Bidwell? God, I hate that punk. He's the worst one yet. Well, I'm sure it's just a phase, or she'll get tired of him, dump him just like everyone else. What if she marries that piece of dirt? Get a hold of yourself, Mr. Bidwell. Why can't you find a respectable fellow? Like someone with a future, a good Republican. Someone like yourself, sir. Damn it, why can't she find someone like me? <clears throat> I have voted Republican, sir. <laughs> this is rich. <laughs> you and Buffer? <laughs> oh, I can see it. What is it all the kids are saying? Not. <laughs> <laughs> Buffer, I love you. I know you do. I know you do? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, Julius. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Okay, you can kiss me. <sighs> what is up with you? <laughs> what? Julius, if you really love me, you'd stop pressuring me. Sorry. You're right. I have been under a tremendous amount of stress lately. And my therapist is on vacation. My party is tomorrow. Mommy is in Switzerland. I have like a million things to do to get ready. By the way, what are you wearing? Um, I can't go to the party. Excuse me? We've got practice tomorrow night, I promise. You don't care about me. You don't care about me? Annie, I promised. Since when did you start keeping your promises, huh? Oh, Annie, we'll jam tomorrow. You're full of it, Julius. You don't care about anything except yourself and that stuck-up witch. What did you call her? Witch! Oh, I thought you said something else. <gasps> God, at this rate, we'd be better off starting a band in Russia. <laughs> Look, Annie, do me a favor. Will you take your medication? We'll practice tomorrow. Yeah, and then tomorrow it'll be the next day. Look, this band means everything to me. I've been put in jail for this band. Annie, you were put in jail for stealing a UPS truck. Now, well, come on. Yeah, that was so we could haul our gear to that gig. What have you done? Me? How can you ask me that? I'm the front man. Oh, God, for... Besides shaking your skinny ass, Julius, you're a joke. If you're the front man, why don't you act like one and be a leader? Stop selling out. I'm not selling out. You say this band is your life, and then you blow it off. And for what, huh? A party? It's very important to Buffer. What about what's important to you? She's important to me. Well, you can't always have it both ways. One of these days, you're gonna have to stand up for what you believe in. I will. I do. And I'm not a sellout. Hey, Sue. Hmm. How you doing? Can't this kid get a job? How the hell are you, old gravy boat? Stromora. Have you seen Buffer? I'm sure she's around here somewhere. How about a drink? What's your poison? I don't know, uh, beer, I guess. Beer? <laughs> well, that's no way to get in the spirit of things now, is it? Charlie Martini. I love it. Attends santé. No. 
keep it, please. My gift to you. <laughs> By the way, Mr. Bidwell has asked to speak with you, if you have a moment. Great party, Mr. Bidwell. You know what, numbnuts? What, sir? I don't like you. I've never liked you. And I'm never gonna like you. That's funny, sir. <laughs> okay, kid. I'll get right to the point. I will give you $50,000 if you will stay away from my daughter for the rest of your natural born life. $50,000? $75,000. What? $100,000, and that's my final offer. You serious? Well, of course I'm serious, numb nuts! Oh, I get it. You're just testing me to see how much love I have for your daughter. Okay. <laughs> Let me just tell you something, Mr. Bidwell. Julius Caesar does not sell out. Now, I love Buffer, and I will do anything for Buffer. If you're gonna deprive me of that right, you may as well kill me. I'm dead. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Kidding, sir. Can we talk about this? I used to be like you. What am I saying? I was never like you. But I was poor. I was uneducated. And through hard work, I pull myself up by my bootstraps and, and look what I made of myself. President of a multinational corporation and one of the biggest producers of pencil erasers in the entire Western Hemisphere. Buffer's all I have. She stays with you. My hard work goes for nothing. You'll blow everything. My daughter needs a, a man to carry on my work. A, a strong man. Man of vision. Man of destiny. I am that man, sir. Don't make me barf. Look at yourself. You got no education. You got no job. What are your plans for the future? Well, I was kind of thinking Buffer would support me, at least till the band took off. Get out of my house. You're staining my carpet. I'll have a check cut for $100,000. Wait, there's got to be some way I can prove myself to you. What have you got to lose? My patience, for one thing. No, listen to me. I can make you proud of me. I can do it. If I can't, I'll disappear. I'll bet you anything. Bet? You say bet? I'll bet you anything you want. Well, well, well. Seems I'm a sporting man, Junior. Tell you what I'm gonna do. If you can come up with $100,000 within six months, you can have my daughter with my blessing. If you fail, you have to stay away for the rest of your life, and I'll squash you. Well, what do you say, Julius? How bad do you want it? 100 grand in six months, it comes to, uh... That's $4,666.66 a week. Son. Where am I going to get that kind of money? Tell you what, I'm feeling generous. I'll even give you a job. You what? Ah, one of my plants. The work is hard, but if you're the new man you say you are, I'm sure you'll be up to it. <laughs> <laughs> the day Daddy bought me the Porsche, I wrecked it, and he had to buy me another one. <laughs> oh, Julius, I want you to meet Graydon, Boyden, and Sion. They're members of Daddy's club. Guys, this is Julius. Nice to meet you guys. So, what were we talking about? Buffer, can I talk to you for a second, please? Not now, Julius. You're being rude. <laughs> it's important? Not more important than the club. <laughs> <laughs>
I invited you to this party so that you could meet the right kind of people. We're blowing it big time. Please? No. Any of you guys drive a black BMW? Because I just saw the valet outside on the front lawn doing donuts. You might want to check that out. Uh... <laughs> Real cute, Julius. Don't get mad when I tell you what I'm about to tell you. I'm already mad at you. I just made a bet with your dad. You should know better than to bet with daddy. He never loses. What did you bet? You. If I don't come up with $100,000 in the next six months, I can never see you again for the rest of my natural born life. You're fighting over me. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> you lost your mind, sir. Hey, take a pill, Larry. But you hired that, je ne sais quoi, hoodlum at our most critical plant. Whose plant? Sorry, did, did I say our plan? Your plan. Your plan. Don't you ever forget it. Yes, sir. But if I may, this is a very, this is a very sensitive time at the plant. Think of Big Pink, with all the protesters, uh, government inspections. I, I'm spending all my time there as it is. Exactly, so you can keep an eye on him. You can make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. Yes, sir, but... You can have some fun with him. But don't let him quit. As long as he's on the assembly line, earning $7 an hour, I don't have to worry about my bet. Now I know what you're thinking. Caesar, you're a fool. Should have taken the 100 grand. But give Caesar his due. I was young and in love, and there was no way I was going to sell out. So I accepted the terms of Bidwell's cold-blooded challenge and hurled myself fearlessly into the uncharted world of capitalism. <laughs> you mean, you mean you've never worked in an eraser factory before? No, sir. But, um, really stinks. Stinks? N not the job, sir. The, the smell has a certain of uh, aroma. Oh, yeah. No offense. No, 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 no offense, no offense. Now, you'll get used to it. Look at me. I've been here for 20 years. 20 years. I've been here 20 years. You know how long I've been here? 20 years. How'd you know? <laughs> 20 years. You know, rubber must be running all through my veins. That's right. I'm sure of it. Because no matter what knocks me down, I just bounce right back, Scarlet. Frankly, my dear. <clears throat> Come on, do it. Hurry it up. Time is money. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Ramore. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, uh, Julian, well, uh, why don't you take these uh, forms and fill them out, and uh, you can get started. Thank you, sir. Do you have a pen? <sighs> we only use pencils around here. <laughs> boys, boys. Can I have your attention, please? We have a new man joining our uh, little work release program here today. Yes, sir. Yes, Julius, sir. say hello to the boys. Hi, boys. 
Julius is a very close friend of Mr. Bidwell's. Mr. Bidwell says he should have a job here. Does everybody understand that? Any questions? Where the hell is he gonna work? Here, with you. Is that a problem? I don't have any openings on this line. I'm gonna go work somewhere else. That reminds me, is there a Nick here? Yeah, why? You've been transferred. To the melting pit. There's toxic fumes in that pit. Let you lose a friend go work there. We need Nikki right here. Nonsense. Julius can handle it. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, there you have it. Break's over. Back to work. Hi. What's up? You want to know something? I'm going to kick your ass. What? I said I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, you wouldn't know them. They're not country. I said I'm going to kick your ass. Lunch. I'm going to kill you. I thought you were gonna kick my ass. What? So you wanna play games, huh? Oh, no guys, I was just kidding. Yeah. It was a joke. I was kidding! I was kidding the whole time, I was kidding. Joking, joker, it was a joker. <laughs> First I'm gonna kick his ass, then I'm gonna kill him. No guys, no, no! I'm kidding. No, please. I'm dizzy now. Please stop. No, 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 right? no, no, games, no, 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 but no, I had to take drugs in college. No, my mom was right. I don't need this crap. Lose the dog, I'll get a post office box. You got that? You got that? Oh, wow. What happened to you? Some of my fellow employees decided to beat the crap out of me today. Employees? Where are you working? The World Wrestling Federation? No, Mr. Bidwell's a racer factory. So that's where you've been all day. Why would you want to work there? Look, I made this very stupid bet with Mr. Bidwell. He says that if, if I can make him $100,000 in six months, I can have buffer. You made a bet for a person? Look, not exactly, Annie. That has got to be the most offensive, sexist, disgusting thing I have ever heard. Does Asaburin know about this? Look, her name is Buffer, okay? And actually, she liked the idea. Now, if you don't mind, I want to go inside and take a shower. Good night. No, you can't take a shower. We got to practice. You promised. I can't take a shower. No. Look, Annie, we'll practice later, okay? Take your medication. Goodbye. Julius. Hello. Oh, go home to it. Please. I told you there's nothing to worry about. Maybe so. But those new erasers you've been making, I've done some testing, and they're not erasers. They are plastic explosives. <laughs> Nonsense. You don't know what you're talking about, Dwight, please. Right. And then I happened to see some orders in the computer and discovered this big pink. You know what's in that file? No. What's in the big pink file, Mr. Stewart? I don't know. Because I couldn't get into it. That's because it was encoded. Because it was password protected. Because... Because it was closed up tighter than two coats of paint. Well, I'll have someone look into that right away. Jeez, wow. 
excellent work there, DeWitt. Good work. But that's not good enough, Larry. I am the manager here. I need to know what the hell is going on around here. Now you better level with me and come clean. Or I'm gonna have to call Bidwell. <laughs> Did you say Big Pink? I said Big Pink. I'm sorry. I I thought you said Big Stink. <laughs> we have no Big Stink. I'm so stupid. Wow. You know I have that uh, I have that data right here. As a matter of fact, it's here somewhere. What do you know? Here it is. Wow. Well, have a look for yourself. Nothing. What? Are you blind? Look closer. Getting old, do it. I'm telling you that. You were right. You had to do it. He was getting too close. What are we going to tell his wife? No, don't tell her anything. I wonder if she knew he started drinking again. If DeWitt figured out what we're up to, how can we be sure the next guy won't? I've got it all figured out. I've got the perfect candidate. <laughs> Come on, guys. Why are we fighting? I mean, we're, uh, we're all on the same side, right? Because you're an idiot. Our jobs are hard. Our backs are bent. But is our spirit broken? I say no. I say we can do better. Why should we work under these conditions? Why such low pay? Why? Why? I say we form a union and demand fair wages, a safe workplace, adequate health care. We're not asking for a handout. Just a shot at that dream. The American dream. So what do you say? Are you with me? I say we kill a bastard. Yeah! 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 Julius. Mr. Moore, I'm so sorry about what happened on the floor. I, I, I really didn't mean that. And I'm really sorry Julius, about what happened. Julius, calm down. Of course, we were right to stand up to Dave and the boys. In fact, it just confirms for me the decision I've just made. Huh? You know, Julius. If America had more bright self-starters like yourself, the Filipinos wouldn't be kicking our butts in the arena of eraser production. You get my drift? I don't think so. Julius, Mr. DeWitt has, uh, disappeared. Disappeared? Well, we've known for quite some time he's had some, uh, problems. We've tried to help him, and, and unfortunately, we've done everything we can do. Well, that's so sad. He seemed like such a nice guy. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't dampen my enthusiasm for what I have to say. Julius, you are the new plant manager. And as of now, this is your office. You mean I'm not fired? Fired? <laughs> oh, God, Dreyer Pierre. Let me ask you something, Julius. How do you think I've gotten to where I am? By kissing Mr. Bidwell's... By spotting talented management potential. And nurturing that potential. Let's face it, Julius. If you look good, I look good. 
Isn't that like a shampoo commercial? <laughs> so what do you say? You accept the job? I'll get a handsome raise, and I know you have that bet with Mr. Bidwell going on. How much will I make? <laughs> Not enough, but it will be a good base. And who knows, with a little effort, you could have my job in no time. Oh, no, Mr. Moore, I can never fill your shoes. <laughs> True. So what do you say, Julius? Hmm? You accept the job? I mean, don't let me pressure you. Just say the word and I'll put you back to work on the floor with your friends. I don't know what to say. I'll say you're in. All right, I'm in. All right! <laughs> Kissing tapeworm. Daddy, what is he up to now? I beg your pardon? Remora? He just made Julius the plant manager? Now, is that because of Julius' excellent organizational skills, or, or is it his vision for the future of the eraser industry? Now, Buffer, I'm sure Mr. Remora knows exactly what he's doing. After all, he didn't get to be my right-hand man by making a lot of bad business decisions, did he? No. Well, then. He got there by lying, stabbing people in the back, and kissing your butt. Well, that's true. But you must be happy. I mean, Julius is showing a lot of potential. I don't know. But with him working all the time, I don't have anything to do. I'm bored. Well, how about a game of squash? I just hired a new pro to help me work on my backhand. That must be him now. I hate squash. I want to go shopping. Uh, Buffer, this is Steve. Hi. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you. You too. Daddy, can I have a new squash racket? <laughs> I'll notify his wife. Well, thank you, Mr. Amora. Okay, there's nothing else to see here. Let's get back to work. We tried to help him. It's workers like that that give the eraser industry a bad name. Let that be a lesson to you, Julius. Back to work. Now this is where it all started for me. The engine that drives the heart of America. The assembly line. These are all my friends. There's Big Dave. What do you say, Big Dave? Come on, me and you in the parking lot, punk. That's going on your file, Dave. He loves me, he's just kidding. Back to work. This is the last stop on our tour. The brains of the operation. My office. Check it out. Two phones, free long distance. Free! Yeah, I have a speakerphone too, but I haven't figured out how to use it yet. But Oh, and Vlad, look. Pencil, huh? With fresh Bidwell eraser, huh? I think I should put the hoop. I don't know, Julius. Come on, Vlad, we gotta go. Mama! Mama! Привет, как дела? Нет, это Влад! Влад! НТНТ! НТНТ! What's the matter? Mama, это я! НТНТ! It'll go away. You get used to it. I, I hardly even notice it anymore, really. <laughs> I think you're a phone. I am not! What do you know about running a company? Look, I'm learning a lot right now, okay? My learning curve is very steep. Come on, this is me. You don't have to try to impress me. What do you really do here? To tell you the truth, I don't do anything. I'm not really running this company. 
Oh, duh, Julius. Why do you think they gave you this job? Bidwell's no fool. He knows you don't know how to run a company. He's just trying to keep an eye on you to make sure you don't win that bet. No, no, shot. Sure. Paka. <laughs> Paka, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Julius. Thank you. You're welcome, Vlad. Hey, don't play with that. I don't even know how to use that thing. Julius, why don't you blow it off and come back to the house and play some music? Your dog misses you. No way, okay? I'm gonna win that bet. If I can only get like three or four more jobs, I'll be perfect. Then I guess I shouldn't wait for you to come home and practice. Annie, I can do this. Trust me. No, I can't. What? You can't have it both ways. You say this band is important to you, but actions speak louder than words, you know? I can do both. Yeah, okay, Julius, if you say so. Come on, Vlad, we're out of here. One moment, please. But what'd you do? You give me a lot of trouble with this thing, you know? What is this? See? Profit and loss statement. Cash flow. Capital expenditures. You know, I'm thinking of investing in Bad Bulls Industries. Vlad, tell me something. What was it that you did back in Russia? I was working in a cemetery. Working with Steve's. Doing what? Sales. What else did you do? I was an accountant for a state beef factory. But see, now I came to America. Breeze fresher of freedom, huh? Shave head, drive a customized web, rock and roll all night, party every day. Freaking good. You mean you know how to run a factory? Sure, beef factory, yes. Beef or racers, what's the difference? Will you teach me? You bet. No, don't do it, Vlad. You'll lose your soul. Please? No. Come on, let's go. Wait. I just got a great idea. What is it that every band needs to be discovered? Naked woman. Besides naked woman, Vlad. We need to record a demo. How are we going to do that, Julius? Now listen, with the money I'm making here, we can record the demo. With the advance money from the record deal, I can win the bet. What do you say? looking at me with those little puppy dog eyes. You make me want to puke. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work, but if it'll get you to practice every day. Please, please, please. We'll do it.
Stuff might fly in the barrio, he say. It's not gonna hold water with me. Don't interrupt me when I'm telling you you're nothing. You are on the thinnest of possible ices, my friend. He what? All right, you tell Mr. Bono Houston to cool his jets, or he and the edge are nowhere near my house for Passover this year. You got me? You can quote me on that. P.S. You are still the nobody. So what do you think, Mort? <laughs> what do I think? I'll tell you what I think. You want a beverage? You want a flavored water? We got uh, vanilla, cream, boys and strawberry, kiwi. Um, plain is great. Plain is good. And I can do plain. Miriam, where's the plain water? I cannot get good help these days. But I've got it. Where are you from? Nowhere, really. My parents were archaeologists. Uh, Roman history buffs. What is your name? Julius Caesar. <laughs> Magruder. Magruder. What is that? That's uh, Greek, uh, German, Spanish. Uh, Irish. Irish. Oh, isn't that the best? What, north or south? I'm kidding. That's touchy. That's touchy. Julius, can I call you... Julius? Sure. Magruder! 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 I can't believe what I'm seeing here. What, what are you seeing, Mort? You. Do you have any idea what it's like to sit in this chair day after day, night after night, morning after morning, trying desperately to be a creative catalyst in a town brimming with neurotic, no talent, nitwits? And then you come in here with that music. And that? The hair, what color is it, baby? Uh, mellow yellow. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Are you feeling what I'm feeling? I feel like I'm feeling it more. You sensing what I'm sensing? I'm getting a sense. I am seeing things. I'm gonna tell you what I'm seeing. I'm seeing nine things. Okay? One, this is big. Two, I'm excited. Three, 
five to seven record deal with points across the board. Four, live theater, TV, movies, mall appearances. Five, more mall appearances. Six through eight, gargantuan! <laughs> this is great. Any cash advance, Mort? Oh. I'm thinking of a number, writing it down on this piece of paper. Handing you the piece of paper now. Wow. Wow. More, more. This is great. This is really great. No, no, what about what about number nine? Nine. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll bump it to nine. No, 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 no. The number nine. You said you were seeing nine things. Nine. The number nine. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. What was uh? What was number nine? Uh, was it a world tour? No. Uh, cover shoot with helmet. No. Nope. Free trip on a company plane. No. Total creative freedom. No. A box at the forum. <laughs> a couple of Harleys. Uh -uh. A mansion. Uh -uh. Um. Clean up the office. That's it. Wait, 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 more, 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 more. What? What? What's it? What's it? <clears throat> this isn't my office, and I gotta get out of here because this schmuck always gets back at two fifteen for lunch. So wait, this isn't Mort's office. You're not Mort. Where's Mort? My office? Hell no. I'm in the mail room. Catch you later. Great song, baby. How much do we have now, Vlad? Eighty-three dollars sixty-seven cents. Well, it's great, but it's a long way from a hundred grand. Oh, Bill's here. <laughs> Chaos! Oh, chaos! Come on! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! We haven't seen you in a while. I'm sorry about that, sir. You, are you a coal miner now, or, uh... I quit my job and went to work for the water department because of you. I wanted to be underground where it's safe. First day back, they sent me here. Well, what's wrong with our water? Oh, you got a little problem with the sewage in the neighborhood, and it's right under your front lawn. Tomorrow, I come back and dig up your yard. That is a drag. I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry well, about that. Well, do something about it! I gotta go to work. Well, sedate him. Take him with you. I don't care what. But if he's here when I come back tomorrow, I turn him into Korean barbecue. And that's number one with a bullet. OK, thank you very much. And by the way, that's the last time I eat Korean food. Thank you very much. What are you He's not Russian. He's not Russian. He thinks 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 he's Don't work so hard. Big Pink. Classified document. Ramora. Access denied. Buffer, what's up? Listen, I got the night off. Yeah, I want to see you. Not tonight, Julius. What do you mean, not tonight? Because I have a private lesson with my squash pro. What is so important? Yeah, all right, fine. You can come over after my lesson. But be here at 10, and don't be late, because I'll be very tired after my lesson, and I want to go to bed early. I know you do. Bye. So, tell me, Steve, how are my strokes coming along? No, 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 no. Not the big toe. 
the pinky. Ooh. What do you mean he thinks he's going to win the bet? I thought you told me he blew all his money on... What was it? Memo paper? Demo. Demo. Whatever. Pull! He thinks he's going to get some big advance from some record company. He told me so himself. He thinks I'm his friend. It would almost be cute if it weren't so sickening. Well, you're not going to let that happen, are you? I wouldn't worry about it. Well, I am worried about it. You got to keep your eye on it. Well, what am I supposed to do? Follow him around and make sure he doesn't make any money? You are the one who made the bet with him, sir, not me. Well, you are the one who had the bright idea of making him plant manager. If he were still on the floor getting that crap kicked out of him, this never would have happened. Look, we put him in the manager's... What? We put him in the manager's office so that no one would get any wiser about Big Pink. And it's worked. The peace conference is scheduled for next week, and we'll be ready. God, I'll be glad when this is all over. And we can go back to just being manufacturers of mass death. Pull! You know, it's ironic. Julius has actually turned out to be a fairly effective manager. Other than that fart to wit. <clears throat> Profits are up, and he has cut expenses by 10%. Oh, who cares? Places are right off. I'm more concerned about my daughter. Well, when was the last time you saw him around here, sir? Buffer's practically forgotten about him. And if you lose the bet, so what? All you were betting was that he could continue seeing her. Not that she had to. She can always change her mind. Relax, sir. Everything is going according to plan. Trust me. Pull! Pull! Buffer, words can't express how I feel about you tonight. So I've written this here little song. Buffer, I know you don't like to say it. Buffer, you love me, your eyes betray it. I'm gonna win that bet with your dad. And when I do, you're gonna be so glad. So, Buffer, please don't have a hairy. I'm begging you now, let's get married. Oh, Buffer, it's you and me together. Ooh. Hello! Maybe I should just ask her. of this? Mr. Bidwell! I didn't hear you come in, sir. Have you seen Buffer? Well, she's certainly not here. What in God's name do you think you're doing? Um, just using your computer? Just invading my privacy and spying on my private files. Probably trying to figure out how you can dig your greedy little claws into my money. No, no, no. It's nothing like that, sir. It's nothing like that. There's this file I saw at the office. I couldn't figure it out. It's called Big Pink. A likely story, numbnuts. Now get out of my house. Mr. Bidwell? I'm seeing Buffer. I don't care if you're seeing Elvis. Get the hell out! He knows. Yeah, I want it all out of there. 
Make the arrangements. Tomorrow with the latest. And take care of numb nuts. Better no bet. He's dangerous to me alive. Better yet, do the whole factory. I've always hated that place. Save our work! Save this place! Why not be all the Wait a minute. Do you work here? Sir, come back here. Julius? Larry. Larry, I was just wondering, what goes on in the research lab? And how come I don't have a key? Lab? Uh, you mean that room back there? Oh, it's storage, uh, packing materials, tape, mostly. But I thought it was research. <laughs> research, don't be ridiculous. We make erases, Julius. What sort of research would we do? The formula hasn't changed in 60 years. Yeah, but we've been getting a lot of strange deliveries of compounds, nitrates, glycerins. Well, what does that stuff have to do with erasers? <laughs> That's just our idea of a little inside joke, Julius. I wouldn't worry about it. Larry! What's Big Pink? <laughs> Julius, you're a genius. You are a genius. I am? You know, I'm a little embarrassed to admit this, but when we first hired you for this job, we were a little skeptical of whether or not you were uh, executive material. So we designed a little test for you. And I'm glad to say that uh, you've passed with flying colors. You follow? No. Larry, what's Big Pink? Big Pink is nothing. It's a dummy file. You purposely put it into the computer knowing that if you found it, you mastered your job. Congratulations. Oh, okay. And since you've proven yourself to be such an ideal employee, I'm giving you a reward. Get out. No, I'm serious. I'm giving you a big bonus, buddy. But it'll be all a little secret, okay? I think it'll help you out in your little wager. For real? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'd love to give it to you tonight, but, uh... God, I'm really pressed for time. Bidwell's asked for a full variance report on this year's production budget, and, uh... Well, maybe you could, uh... No, no, no I could do it. It would just take a couple hours. Really? Yeah. God, that would be great. Um, that'd give me enough time to get the check and bring it to your office tonight. Perfect. Okay. Thanks. Hey, congratulations. Keep up the good work. Sure. Hey, now, good job, Mr. Post Office. Wasted college education. Four years of college wasted. Wasted. Maybe, maybe I should have been an actor. <laughs> yeah, I could dig that. <laughs> I could dig it. <laughs> yeah, I could dig that. So stupid. Job at the post office. But no, I couldn't keep that job. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Okay, 
Think Pink. Classified document. Damn. Scumbag. Classified document. Damn. Set for tonight? Good. I'd be glad to be rid of the foul smelling dump. Now, are you sure Numbnuts will be there when it goes? A bonus? He's a greedy little grubber. Excellent. Are you leaving? Yes. Uh, don't stay too late. I can't believe this. He's blowing us off. You want Twinkies? No, thanks, bud. Yeah, I can't stand this anymore. I'm moving out. What about deal? The deal? What deal? There's no deal. We shop the record everywhere. The only thing Julius is interested in is his loins, not this band. Stay if you want. I'm out of here. Well, I'd go with Ani. getting it yes Julius hey Vlad it's me listen I got tied up late at the factory yeah I think I'm on to something what's that me and Annie go oh yeah go no, you and Annie go I'll catch up with you later I'm working on this thing here I'm trying to get into this file but it's password protected. Any ideas? Back doors. Listen, Julius, listen. Must get inside, inside mind of person. No thinking, see? No thinking. Inside. Inside mind of person. Mind of person. Oh, yeah, I get it. I, I got it. Okay, I got you. I'll talk to you later. You guys have fun. Okay, bye. Factory. Potentially explosive situation. Get inside his head. Whose head? Ramora's? Bidwell's. What do I know about Bidwell's mind? Egotistical? Criminal. Yeah! Thank you. 
takes me. Get inside Bidwell's head. Come on, nuts. I got it. Numb nuts. It's not nice. Let's not do it. Don't worry. It'll be okay. It's not right. Somebody's got to teach Julius a lesson. Let's get out of here. Goodbye, Chaos! copies of this. Vegas, Monte Carlo, Argentina. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Julius. I really will. <laughs> You are absolutely right. I just found out the very same information today. That's why I came to the office. As a matter of fact, I gotta go. Hey, wait a minute. What about Big Pink? What about my bonus? Go, oh, Julius. You will get your bonus. Meet me in my office right away. I think I left my car lights on. Oh, he's crazy. 
Lies! 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 Somebody, please. This is all a big mistake. I am not supposed to be here. Anybody got a quarter? Hey, big man. You got a quarter? Mm. Hey, big man, what's your name? Hi, me. Hello, Buffer. What do you want? I just wanted to say how sorry I am that things didn't work out with Julius. I, too, was taken in by his very artful canard. So? Well, I was thinking perhaps we could have dinner together, get our minds off this cruel blow that's been dealt to us. Eat that. You blew up the Bidwell factory? Forget about the factory. That's small potatoes. Back in 63, Dallas, Grassy Knoll. <laughs> you killed Kennedy? Hey, look, first of all, the guys in the company don't use words like kill, okay, Junior? Terminate with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Was it the mob? Forget about it, C-I-A. Forget about it, C-I-A. What do you know, huh? What? Why couldn't it have just been Oswald, huh? Yeah, Oswald's a stooge. Then who? First of all, why would I tell you guys that, okay? I'd be dead like that! Kids got a point? These guys can and will get you I think so. I think he's right. I think he's right. 63! Yeah. You weren't even born then. 63? Let me just tell you something, my Nubian brother. It was 63 that Malcolm and me flew to Mecca. And wasn't no first class back then either. We flew coach! 
What, no free peanuts, chicken, or sundaes? Hmm. Um, so you were with the fruit of Islam? Fruit? Who you call him fruit? Ain't a fruit my dad. Yeah. Who you call a fruit? With that big face cloth wrapped around your 400 pound ass. I ain't talking to you, Slim. Yeah? You ain't talking to me? You waffle and fry chicken eating baboon? Are you guys gonna talk the talk or walk the walk? Yeah, are we gonna box or throw rocks? Well, bring it on, Kong. I'm ready to throw down any time you want me. <sighs> I'm gonna beat you like you stole my cookie. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna beat you like you owe me money. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> You bailed me out? Yeah. I thought you left. I knew you weren't guilty. You are a jerk, but you're not a terrorist. I guess I lost that bet, huh? You're in a lot of trouble. No, duh. What happened? It was Ramor and Bidwell. I've got proof, but no one in there will listen to me. God, poor Buffer. Your dad's a hood. It's gonna break her heart. Are you Julius Magruda? Yeah, who's asking? I'm Dr. Fleckenstein from the Bureau of Antiquities. Look, whatever it is, I didn't do it, okay? Of course not. <laughs> it's a miracle. I just verified it. You're going to be a very rich man. What? While excavating the property to lay the new sewer, we made one of the archaeological discoveries of the century. Venus? It's not just a Venus. It's a completely Venus from the fall of the Roman Empire. None were thought to exist. How it got on your property, I'll never know. It's worth millions. <laughs> Are you serious? All right. Julius! Julius! <laughs> Julius! Come over here, son. <laughs> Come over here, buddy. Mr. Bidwell, let me tell you something. I know everything that's going on about that factory, and you and this guy are going down. I didn't do anything. It was Ramora. What? Officers, arrest this man. Big, big Pig was here right there. Big yeah, Pig. Doing What's Big Pig? Your plan to disrupt the World Peace Conference with exploding potential erasers. Can we be civilized? Lies. All lies. Jack. Oh. Oh. Uh, you figured that out? Oh, shut up. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I'm not talking to you. Daddy! Daddy, what should I do? <laughs> Daddy! Julius, I cannot believe everything that's happened. I, I think I owe you an apology. I am so sorry that I doubted you. It's okay. I mean, under the circumstances, I might have done the same thing. You know, with the statue business and everything, you're going to be a millionaire. <laughs> you know what? What? You win the bet. I'm yours. You are? <laughs> you know I am. I love you. You know what? What? 
I know you do. What? I'm sorry, Buffer, but, uh... I gotta go. Julie! God, get out of my way! Hey. Hey. You believe this? You know I lost my guitar at the factory. Yeah, I know. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd help me pick out a new one. Well, why don't you ask your girlfriend? I thought I was. I didn't become a millionaire. I couldn't bear to sell Venus. But I got a new guitar, and the band kept practicing. Ah! Guess what? We got that recording contract after all. Julius! Julius! It's me, Jerry. Guess what, baby? I made it. Made what? I'm an agent! <laughs> You, in the statue, in my office. It's a least, baby. It's the least I can do. It's the least I can do. I'm an agent. I'm an agent. Look for us. Hail Caesar. Coming to your town. Soon. Thank you, people. Thank you very much. We're really happy to be here. Uh, this means a lot to us, and uh, we're glad you came out tonight. This next song, Herbie and I wrote together. It's called Love Is. People with me, people be talking about love, but I don't know where they're coming from. Uh -huh.
total affection on and love is not a tease and love is in you and love is in me and love is on time and love should be free it's more than you know it's more than we know it's more than I The city streets are dark and cold Along the heads about to unfold The neon lights are flashing by A stranger's voice is whispering why We'll never stop, we'll never give in Our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast, we're living loud our hearts are beating like a dropping crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We're driving down the open road Our spirits high, our passion glowed We're chasing dreams that seem so far We're raising hell like shooting stars We'll never stop, we'll never give in our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing, we'll keep on playing Until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast We're living loud Our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels We are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We'll never stop, we'll never stop, 